dress for a body count in you? Hey, don't diss the rags, man. Do you realize how hard this job is? What do you mean? I'm trying to work in an empty I am work. Anyway, what do you do? Well, I'm deaf, you know. The Grim Reaper. And all that. And let me tell you, buddy, my missus ain't happy about the overtime I'm putting in on my night off. So let's get out of here. Oh no, you're joking. I'm dead! Ha, <laughs> well done, Einstein. Who? Never mind. Hey, wait a minute. How did I die? How did you what? You're kidding, right? It's cholera, man. Look at the state of you. Alright, man. There's no need for attitude. But did I really have it? Or what? But nothing. Do you realize how many people have died in Merthyr alone without all the other towns? Just the other morning, Mr. Price from Charles Street, Tredegar. Dead. I was supposed to be in a barbecue today, you know. A what? Never mind. Wait a minute. I remember. About 17 years ago, there was another outbreak here. Called in for overtime then as well. Pretty healthy lost them that way. Well, I'm not working overtime because I want who am I? I got a right to know how this thing killed me, haven't I, bud? Listen, if I wasn't being sick, it was flying up the other end. If you know what I mean. But don't worry, I'd empty it out on the street, out of the way. Wait a minute. Hello? No, honey, I can't get out of it. I know I missed dinner. But. Oh yeah, I know the vampires are in town for just a couple more days. Ah, oh, fine. I'll speak to you later. What's that? It's my new... Never mind. Well, I'm in the doghouse now anyway. So what do you want to know? How did I catch it? I was okay this morning. Well, look at these young ladies here. Healthy and alive and cholera free. And look at you. Sunken eyes, pale skin. Spots and dead. <laughs> uh -oh. I want to know what killed me, but how did it start? Could I have done something to like not catch it? Or what? I'm dead, man! I want some answers. Oh thank you very much. It was a museum! What happened to you then? I had to get out of there, but those lot were doing mine that dead. I really accidentally on purpose kill that girl then. Well yeah, I think it might have been you. You were that big dicky thingy. You know, she could have lived to be hundred. Unlikely now that old collar have made appearance. Are you sure about? I'm fine, hold that. <laughs> ah, here we are. Jade Edwards. <sighs> 81 years of age. I'm one bad mother. You really are a rubbish reaper. Isn't you it? just touch me with that. Yeah. Alright, sorry. Don't be a drama queen. I'll show you what killed you. How do you know if you got it or not then? Well, that's an easy one. Come on. What about that annoying girl? You know, the one you just made into a ghost? She is not happy with you. Don't worry about her. She's history. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. are you two laughing at? Hey, over there. Yes. Me. She ain't happy with me, is she? Oh, buddy. I think she's one of you us. Have I got her off there? It's one of your mistakes. What about that boy over there on his mobile phone? Oh, what? Hey, I want to work with you. I'm stuck with you again. I don't get paid enough for this job. She got it too. A few weeks after you died, nearly every street in the Tredigo was affected. Have a closer look there, Welsh boy. Anything look familiar? Looking a bit pale there. But is it really cholera? No way, love. Just touch a man flu. Here we are, he deaf. he got the right idea. You'll be given about in no time. This is not the average cold. <laughs> Let's see, shall we?
Kohan, Aska, see if you've got the same symptoms. What? Me? Are we having a party? So explain these. Bad headaches? Beer. Vomiting? Beer. Diarrhea? Beer. He's not the brightest star in the sky, is he? Tea and Professor. Don't forget, blank skin, sunken eyes, painful cramps, always thirsty. Sounds familiar to you, didn't she? <laughs> nice one. What's going to happen to me now? <laughs> You'll be buried on the mountain, away from everyone. The graveyards are closed to anyone with cholera. Why? See, no one knows how it's spread from person to person, do they? I heard it was the Irish lot that came over here. I took my family to chapel. It was packed. We were all there to ward off cholera. No, man. I heard it floated in the air and came through our window. No, 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 no. You're both wrong. I'll show you. Sorry, love. We're out there. Bye. You, come with me. You, Kate, I want to work with you. Uh oh. About then? This ain't no water pump, man. This is the way cholera spreads. What water? Do you realise how many people there are in Trevega? 9,000. Yes, 9,000 and still more on the way. All for the ironworks. So? You know where you dump all your waste? You know your waste? Got you. There's a few old to toilets here, but we normally just dump it out the way, man. Well, that's one of the way it starts. Germs and bacteria from dumping your waste in the dirty streets. But let's face it, houses are cramped with virtually no toilets. How many live in your house? Ten! All of you need to poo at some point, and all of you need water at some point. Yeah? Well, a spot of rain. This floods in off the street, bringing in filth into the houses. And of course, stream water is contaminated too. Comes. And then guess who's working overtime? So do you understand? Or what? Huh? This girl, washing their stolen apples. She thinks she's cleaning them. But you know what's in the water. Yeah, nasty thing, this cholera. But didn't anyone know about the water? Or what? There is one guy I know. A five. Hello, I'm Dr. Snow. So? He, the doctor here, thinks the cholera comes from contaminated water. So see the girl washing those apples? She's going to be pretty dead soon. I found out that all the victims use the pump in Broad Street. Hmm. Mm. Water spread the disease, I told the other doctors. Well done. All covered then? No, they didn't believe me. So what are you doing, Matt? Ha, we took the handle off the pump and saw the cases fall rather quickly. Were they looking to you after all, did they then? Hmm, not really. Oh, come on then. I've had enough of this. Bye, Doc. Bye! So, where are we off to now then, Bat? Right then. I think it's time to go and meet Dr. Williams. Right then, let's make a move. Haha, <laughs> fine. There's one last thing I have to do. This is where the local doctors hang out. <laughs> Let's have a guess at the cure for cholera. Uh, sounds like fun. This is Dr. Williams' place. Hello, I'm Dr. Williams. I'm sure some of my ideas on how to cure cholera will be successful. Well, are you sure? Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Watch this part. This part's a classic. Well, young lady, let's get some blood out of you. 
uh, bloodletting is a well-known way of treating cholera. Ha ha ha! I told you so, man! Bloodletting. Bloodletting won't work anyway. It'll just leave lots of nasty scars. And that's if she's gonna survive anyway. But she won't. Now drink this. Doctor, is this really going to help? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> is that? It's like eating yellow snow. Pointless. It's not going to make any difference anyway. Right now, lay off the potent spirits. No cold water, no matter how thirsty you are. And I'll go and get my burning tar. You'll be right as rain in no time. Are you sure? Mmm, should have got you earlier. So at this point, your doctors are pretty much clueless. Hey man! Even if I could afford to have a doctor, there'd be no point anyway. So, where are we going from here then? There's only one way to go from here, buddy. Well, where are we now then, bud? This is the year 2011, and it's the end of our tour. I'm afraid this is where you end up, on a hillside in the middle of nowhere. You see, when the funeral procession passed through the streets, people hid because they were afraid of the disease. But I thought you couldn't catch it that way. Scary times, mate. Soon enough, a cure was found. Tradiga's two major outbreaks in the early 30s and 40s was not the last we saw of it. A lesser outbreak occurred in the 1860s. Were you? I'm William Thomas. I was the first one to die of cholera. I think my grave's down here somewhere. Who is that? What do you say? William Thomas. And what happened then? Did the valley for other people? Well, eventually it became untreatable, but not before it claimed 20% of the population. Even now, these, there's parts of the world where it still exists. Hey, I should know, right? Oh, really? The outbreak could have been prevented. There were no cure. You died in agony and it spread through the very water we drank. Crikey. Hey, another goat! Do you remember me, you two? You're right, dear love. I'm sorry about earlier with the little uh, death incident. It was an accident, but actually it was a bit of a laugh. I got used to it now. Bye! Well, I think that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Well there, thanks for that. I have to be honest with you, you're not as bad as they say you are. Well, I got a bit bad. You ain't not bad either. So, any reaper job going in, bud? Looks pretty easy to me. I'll see. And if it is, I'll put a good word in for you. Come on, you. You know, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Action! Hello, I'm William Thomas. I was first one to die of cholera at my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. You and that big sticky, sticky. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>